I'm going to try to do this as one video. And I, a lot of people are going to probably be lost, but still will be able to get some still be able to get some valuable insight here and then maybe it might prompt you to look a little further into some of the things I've been sharing and then it's going to show a lot of you people that have seen some of this work singularly the true significance of what I've been showing you that I've never revealed to you yet and that I, you know there's just a lot of stuff going on that's so big that I've, I just can't explain in these videos and it's one of the reasons why I'm so highly frustrated because I'm just I'm just hidden away with what I got going on here and I, and nobody knows man nobody knows but I truly um would like to share with you you know what I kind of truly am seeing here and I'm seeing a a really incredible big picture that you just have no idea the connections here, and I'm going to try to explain them to you. I'm going to try to explain to you real quick. You're not going to be able to see much of this. Just listen to what I say, and I'm going to have to freestyle talk this here. Okay, well, we're going to start off here at the Genesis event. Everybody knows that this is my fractal diagram that it fractivates out from Genesis. I don't know if I ever told you all this yet, but these are world ages. One, two, three four and then we're at that pivotal point now the fifth world age i never even told anybody that this is a, a world age calendar map and it perfectly fits with everything that i've been sharing with you about the world age and the 13th octune everything it's all in here too it's all in here too and guess what i didn't plan it i didn't plan it it just it just happened so Remember I told you here that we now have this four cross, this iron cross, this four dimensional directional route of travel. And I said I could fractivate this into the four dimensions of length, width, height, and time. And I told you in one video that I could do it by using science, religion, math, and arts as my basis, as my dimensional doorways, as I would go outward into a perceptional view. Well, that's exactly what you just saw in this paper here. And then these are the fractivations that are going to explain how length can translate into math, science translates into width, which then translates to below, which then translates to depth, and then religion translates to height, which translates to above. So we have religion and science as above, so to below, and you see where that will fit later. And then, of course, we have time, which begins to man itself into art, and that's exactly what we see on the fractal equation. This is a four-dimensional view that I have just hypercubed into these meanings of length, width, height, and time, and then I've timed them off of the science, math, religion, and arts with the other fractivation of this code that I got right here. What I'm doing is I'm building a hyperdimensional spiritual understanding in my mind of the complete and total world and it's adding up so now I want you to see this if I can fractivate this into a cube into a length width height and time and now you see that this is a square guess what happens when I open up this cube look what you're gonna see happen the box if it's four dimensional is gonna be space it's going to be three-dimensional it's going to be a box when I open up the cube now all right the same thing the same thing that we ended up with mathematics science the whole nine religion arts when I open up this box guess what happens I get a cross guys you have no idea what I'm seeing I get a cross now check out this cross this cross is on the narrow way. All of this stuff means stuff. You have no idea. We've got space and time that are fractivated into quantity and quality. We've got spirit harmony up here. I want you to see here that we're traveling the narrow way now on this cross. But when you flip the cross upside down and you change the peridium from spirit harmony to ego harmony, now look at the upside down cross is exalted. Look at the lines around the head. And then the whole fractivation continues. Friends, you have no idea. No idea.